Hello, hello. Buenas noches. Hi, good evening. Good evening, darling. Hello. Uh, how are you? Okay, let me check the chat. Let me see what's going on. You know, uh, we're doing good. Yes, uh, I'm really happy to hear that. You know, I was looking for my students and I didn't have any students. So I don't know what's going on, you know. <laughs> I was waiting for you uh, guys. I got, I got into the link earlier, really? like okay. five minutes okay. before the time. Okay. And it just closed. Oh, yes, but that happened to me, out. you know. I was in this room and then I couldn't see anyone. So I don't know what happened in the end. So let me see how many students do I have already? Let me see, eight students. Wow, that's interesting. I thought you were not coming today. But you're here. So, okay. Let's wait for your classmates. We're gonna give them just a couple of minutes, you know, an extra minute so they can come. Okay. So let me check how many students do I need to have here. Okay. I always use two devices, teacher. David. I really? use two devices. two devices. Yes, because I need one for mic and video and another one for look the documents. That's okay. My, so... my computer doesn't have a, a video and a, an audio mm -hmm. and I need to use the audio of the phone. Okay. So the one with the picture, it's gonna be the other one, right? Yes. Very good Yes, job. yes. Let me see. Okay, so how is it going? How was your day? Was it good? Was it a rainy, a, rainy a, teacher? A rainy day, right? Busy. A busy yes. day, you know? Yes, in my very case, busy. it was a very busy yeah. day, you know? I haven't been in a rush, you know, the whole day, but yes, I'm really happy to be here. So we are about to start with this class. Just let me check the attendance list to see how many students I am expecting to have in this course. Let me see, 18, 18 students. So I already have 13, that's okay. So let's start right now. Hi class, it's really, really nice to have you here, you know? and to have you in a new level, you know? This is advanced, advanced number two, advanced model number two, wow. You have made it through a lot of previous courses, right? So you finally made it to this one. So let me ask you before we can start with this course, how long have you been waiting for this new course or you didn't have to wait, you know, a lot? Two weeks, teacher. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yes, two weeks. Ah, you know, yeah, because uh, I have had, you know, some other courses in which people, they have had to wait um, a month even, you know, or even more than a month. So in your case, two weeks, that's okay. You have been practicing your English, right? Or yes, not? teacher. Yes, teacher, okay. I am really glad to hear that. So it's time to start with this class and let me start by giving you some instructions. I guess every teacher does the same in every course, you know, but it's very important to remind you about some of the rules that we need to follow in every class. So let me say welcome. This is advanced module number two, and this is the teacher's name, okay? Carmen Elena Argueta. But most of people, you know, people that is close to me, they call me Elena, Elena Argueta, but that's okay. If you want, you can call me teacher, teacher Carmen Elena, teacher Elena, and that's okay, okay? Don't you worry, that's my name. So let me see what I have here. What about the teacher? What information uh, can I present? You know, as you may see, uh, 
la licenciatura en idioma inglés. Eh, I had this bachelor degree from University of El Salvador, eh, licenciatura en idioma inglés. And I also have, uh, this is like um, some online courses, you know, that I have been taking about instructional design and the creation of online courses. El diseño y creación de cursos en línea. Eh, tal vez esto lo vamos, voy a cambiar solo por ahorita un poquito de español para que quede esta parte pues clara y si hay algún dato pues podamos aclararlo. Luego nos vamos en inglés, inglés, todo inglés, ok. En el caso también he tenido la oportunidad de trabajar en, eh, as an interpreter and also translation, you know, traducción e interpretación para más que todo el área legal, área legal y el área de medicina. Eh, esa es como mi formación académica. Con la experiencia laboral, eh, tengo ya eh, varios meses eh, de estar con Inglés Corporativo. Qué bueno que tenga también este grupo, es un nuevo grupo. Siempre es bueno conocer nuevos estudiantes. En el caso también de la Universidad de El Salvador, tuve la oportunidad de estar trabajando también en el Departamento de Idiomas Extranjeros en el Colegio García Flamingo como docente y también como coordinadora del Departamento de Inglés en el Colegio García Flamenco a la misma vez. Ellos tienen su Academia de Idiomas, que es el Centro Internacional de Idiomas. También tuve la oportunidad de trabajar como docente y como coordinadora también. Eh, las últimas dos que ustedes ven también son unas academias eh, en línea en este caso, Upskill Academy, que es para Latinoamérica, siempre trabajando con cursos en inglés y también en la creación de los cursos que ellos pues estaban ofertando. Y EduClase, que sí es de aquí del de Salvador, EduClase, eh, siempre trabajando para inglés para el trabajo y cursos de inglés en general. Así que esa es un poco de mi experiencia. Si se fijan, he estado siempre involucrada con el inglés, ya van como casi 12 años, pues de estar trabajando, no solo con adultos, créanme que quizás por lo de la pandemia empecé a trabajar ya más con adultos, pero sí, mi área y donde más me he desenvuelto es con niños, he trabajado desde la edad de tres años y pues acá con los cursos de inglés corporativo, ya que nos toca trabajar pues con adultos, y es una bonita experiencia también. Es bonito experimentar en cualquier área. Créanme que la enseñanza es algo que eh, al final trae mucha recompensa. En mi caso, disfruto. I really enjoy teaching, you know. Eh, this is not my main job, you know. We can say that this is my second job, but, you know, I'm always waiting, you know, to be here with my new groups, you know, so I can be teaching, I can be sharing my knowledge with my students, you know, so I really enjoyed this one. This is about the teacher. Con las tareas y evaluaciones, quiero que ustedes ya eh, conocen, ¿verdad? Cómo se trabaja, cómo eh, estamos con la plataforma y todo lo que tenemos que ir desarrollando. Son cinco semanas. Five weeks that we are going to be together. Chero. Yeah, please, tell me. They are, they are with the platform in the lesson number one, Yes. Between the, the question number two and the question number three, mm -hmm. there are no answer. And uh, the platform only gives 16 points in, instead of 20. Okay. Because they need to separate the, the question number two from the question number three. So I'm going to be checking that, you know, today so I can ask uh, for... People from English Corporativo, so they can correct it today. Okay. So thank you so much for letting me know. Yes. Did you say section number one? No, the, the lesson, lesson number one. Oh, lesson one. One point one. Yes, one. yes, the first one. The first one. So I haven't checked that one yet. So I'm going to be checking that, okay, later on. One point one. Thank you so much for letting me know. So it means that you have been checking the platform, right? And yes, that's really true. nice, you know. <laughs> I, you know, sometimes I have a lot of students who they really like to complete, to finish with all the activities from the platform in the first week of classes, you know? So it means that they are really willing to learn, you know, to practice a lot. And I really like that one. So as you may see, tareas evaluaciones, it is necessary. 
to have at least an 80%, you know, and as an average, you know, between homework and the evaluations. Remember that we have in the platform, the midterm exam and the final exam, okay? After uh, section number three, right? If I'm not mistaken, we have the first evaluation that is the midterm exam. And at the end of the course in section number five, we're gonna find, um, in this case, the final exam. Dos evaluaciones, but I know. Yo sé que podemos dar el más del 80%, okay? Yo sé que podemos. Um, as you may know, you can find the homework in the platform. I recommend you to go try to visit the platform. It is, you know, I guess it's easier for you to go after the class. So you can check the activities that we have there because we're going to cover the grammar in the class, some activities related to the topics that we have in the platform. So you can uh, work in the activities, you know, just right after the class. But if you want to, you know, complete the whole activity from section number one up to section number five, that would be really nice, you know? Eh, no hay nada que nos impida que detengamos, que vayamos sección por sección. Si quieren adelantar, that's going to be all right. ¿Qué más? Tenemos, recuerden que todas las tareas de los temas de cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes. As you may know, we have classes from Monday to through Friday, okay? And I'm really motivating you to complete the activities before before every Friday, you know? Because uh, the ones who are in charge of checking the activities from the platform, they need to send, you know, a report, a weekly report to InSafor. So that's why we're gonna help them to make it um, in an easier way, okay? So uh, we have some dates. For the midterm exam, remember, we are, we're gonna be completing this after class number 15. Class 15, que es alrededor del viernes 22 de julio. Pero si pueden completarlo antes, that's going to be good, you know? Y el final exam, tenemos programado finalizar por el 12 de agosto. Recordemos que vamos a tener una pausa, que en este caso va a ser la semana de vacación de agosto. Por eso se nos extiende un poco más. So, Friday, August 12. That's going to be like the last day of classes. So we are expecting you to have the final exam ready for that day or before that date, okay? So let me ask you about uh, the student's manual. Do you already have it? Yes? yes, there is in the platform. It is right there, exactly. It's in the platform. So remember as well, you can also check the context, uh, the contents that we're gonna be covering in the class before the session, or you can have an idea about the topics, the grammar topics that we're gonna be covering. And also, uh, we have a lot of vocabulary, okay? So check on that. And we're gonna be working on those activities and in the different units along the, the manual, okay? So, no se utiliza material de terceros. But in my case, I'm gonna have some extra exercises so we can work here in the class. Questions up to this point? Any questions or any comments about uh, homework and evaluations? Yes? No, no? teacher. Is it clear? Oh, Everything clear. is clear, yes. There we go, very good job. Uh, remember this one, this is pretty important, you know? Remember, every time that you Excuse get me. into the class, Can I need you to have me? your whole name, please, as in your ID. First, second name, and then we have your last name, okay? Nombres completos, siempre. In the case, I guess I don't have a, a Genesis. Yes, do you have a question? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just that I I, I was sent an email yeah. that which had a link to a Zoom uh, meeting, but it took me to uh, another Zoom meeting. Really? It was for intermediate four. The thing is that I lost like 10 minutes there because I hadn't realized it. So I don't know if that's going to affect me because it will not count as my, I mean, what, what can I do about it? Is, is it going to be, is it going to affect me? Okay, remember the, that. The, yeah, yeah I, I get it. I know it's not your fault. I know, you know, for sure. But you know, um, I'm going to be here 
after we finish the class at 10, I'm gonna be here for 15 more minutes, you know, extra minutes. So if you want, uh, you can stay with your camera off, it doesn't okay. matter, just to have like the minutes that you didn't uh, were in time, you know? So they're, they're gonna okay. be like at the end, 120 minutes, yes. So thank you so much for letting me know, Henry. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna be thank checking you. on the link as well. Ya voy a revisar, chicos, el link que les enviaron. So, did anyone else have this problem, the same problem, or not? No? No, because I, I connect with the ID. Ah, with the ID. How about the rest of you? Yes. Let me stop sharing. No, me yes, in the, same, in the same WhatsApp. The WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yes. when I use when I use the WhatsApp link, it, it worked, but uh, when I clicked on the one that was sent on uh, to my email, it didn't. Yeah. It took me to another 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 meeting. Okay. Okay. So please, in any case that you have, you know, a uh, problems uh, similar to to the one that she had, so please just let me know, and I'm gonna be checking the chat as well, you know, but. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing that information, Hennessy. So let's go thank back you. to the presentation. Uh, requirements, yes, that's what I was mentioning. Have your full name, please. First and second name and after the last names. Please, not your first and then your last name, no, the whole name. In el caso de oyentes, I guess I don't have, right? Because I was checking my list. So just in the case that I have them, Please write in parentheses OGEN, okay? So we can identify the ones who are uh, joining that way, okay? Please have your cameras on the whole session. Remember that we're gonna be here together for two hours. So please cameras on. I know that sometimes uh, some of you are coming from work, you know? I understand, you know? or in the case that we are having, you know, those heavy rains, you know, at night. And sometimes the internet connection is, you know, a little bit uh, low, you know, we need to turn off the camera, but please just let me know in the case that you have an emergency and that you need to have your camera on, I mean, off, please just let me know, okay? We need to have the proof. Okay, lo digo así, que quede la evidencia grabada, okay? Teacher, yo pedí permiso para mi cámara porque está pasando esto. But if not, it is mandatory to have your camera on during the whole session, right? And in the case of the, the microphone, you know, try to have your microphone off or to be ready to participate. And only in that case, activate your microphone because sometimes I know we're working from home and most of the time we have, you know, pets, we have family who is around us. So we can have, you know, that background noise. So try to have your microphone off, you know? But if you want to participate, that's okay. You can turn it on, okay? I will understand, you know? And have active participation, please. This is the time for you to practice your English with your classmates, with the teacher, and to practice the new uh, terms, new vocabulary, new grammar that we're gonna be sharing, you know? Try to practice, okay? Questions about this, this part or comments about this section? Questions? All clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher, okay. So please tell me, yes, teacher is clear. If not, I'm gonna be like, oh, they didn't get the information or I don't know if they have questions. So far so good, we're good. There we go, and that's really nice, okay? Let's continue, let's move on. As you may know, okay? Your attendance, it is very important, you know? A hundred percent. So what does it mean? How many classes are we gonna have? Do you know? Advanced to uh, how many classes this, are we expecting to have? Yes. 25. 20? <laughs> Five. Imagine. So it means that we're going to be together. We all are going to be together in the 25 class. Please. Um, as I was mentioning before, this is two hours class. So um, 
Yes, you need to be here every day from Monday through Friday. You know, I'm going to be checking the attendance list uh, twice. The first time around 8.20, so I can give you some minutes, you know, if you can join the class, you know, just after five minutes, if you have, you know, some problems, I'm going to be checking at 8.20 the first time and the second time at 9.40, just right before we finish the class, okay? Uh, remember, I'm going to be checking the attendance, so you can say here, teacher, you can say present, as you wish but you need to have your camera on. So this is gonna be a valid attendance because I need to see you. I need to know that you are the one who is there, okay? Remember, as I mentioned before, an active participation, okay? After the class, after the two hours class, I'm gonna be having the one-on-one -on -one sessions, okay? And this is gonna be in the list order. I have 18 students in my list. So today I'm gonna have the first one, okay? I'm gonna be checking the attendance list so you can identify your list number, okay? We're gonna have one by one session. I really like this one, you know, because in this uh, 10 to 15 minutes, we can have you to ask me, you know, specific questions, or if you want to have like extra material or extra, um, exercises you can ask me okay teacher you know this topic it wasn't that clear can you repeat the instructions or teacher you know i would really like to practice on this topic so can you send me some videos or some links so i can practice you can ask me about that okay or if you have comments about how can i improve my english how can i improve my grammar i don't know ask me okay so we can share some information as well so as I mentioned before, from today and up to class number 18, I'm gonna be having those one-on-one -on -one sessions. After the day 18, if somebody really needs to have, you know, an extra session, of course I can stay. I can stay with you guys and we can have those sessions after the class, okay? Permisos no disponibles, okay? It is not on me. No, I know that sometimes it can be difficult for you to come to the class, to connect to the class. Because, you know, teacher, I'm sick or I don't have any other connection, you know, or the electricity, you know, I, I, I don't know. Something can happen. But please, in the case, if you are going to have, you know, like an emergency or if you know before the class that you have an emergency, Number one, let me know. Number two, eh, se lo digo así, les recomendaría que si hay alguna emergencia y solo van a estar como oyentes, porque no puedo activar mi cámara, teacher. Deje su dispositivo ahí, ¿ok? Recuerden que la asistencia es muy importante, ¿ok? Pero que sea bien justificado, que se justifique y por qué no podemos estar eh, activos en la clase, pero traten de tener su dispositivo conectado para que esos minutos les cuente. Okay, is it clear? Comments about this? Yes? No? It's clear. All clear. All, all clear, excellent. Very good, Charles. Let's continue, let's move on. Okay, Zoom, remember that, yes, we're gonna be having our classes. Eh, voy a Zoom, el botón silencio, I know. You already know how to use it, your camera on. If you have questions, you, you can write them, you know, through the chat. We're gonna be working sometimes in the breakup rooms. And yeah, whenever we go to the breakup rooms, remember those are really, really a close group. So I need to interact with your classmates. Whenever we go to the breakup rooms, this is the perfect time for you to talk to your to your classmates, you know, to say hi to your classmates, to listen to different accents, to listen to them, you know? So it's a really great chance for you to practice. And whenever we are in the breakout rooms, there you have a, this, this option, ask for help. If you need the teacher to join to the room that you're working with, 
So please ask for help. And as well, respect, you know, your classmates, respect the teacher, respect the class. So we can have a great environment, okay? Questions about this? Comments? No? Not teacher. <laughs> Come on class, you know? It's about to start raining right here, you know? So in the case that I have problems with my internet connection, just stay there because the teacher is coming back, you know, just for letting you know. And in the case that you don't listen, teacher, I cannot hear you, you know, can you speak it loud? Just let me know, okay? I'm gonna be trying to do this as an interactive class. Right now, you are listening to the teacher. She's speaking a lot, she's giving a lot of information. But after this, it's gonna be you, the ones who are gonna be practicing your English, okay? The teacher is going to take us at 20% during the class. This is my goal. So you can practice around an 80% or even more, 90% you can practice your English, okay? So I would really like to know about you, okay? You already know about the teacher. What is the teacher's name again? Do you remember? What's my name? Elena. Uh, Elena. Elena Argueta. That's okay, Elena Argueta. So I really need to know about you. Just let me tell you some more details about me. What does the teacher like to do? In my case, you know, I live in San Salvador, you know. I live with my husband and my kid. I already have a kid, you know, he is six years old. Um, I really enjoy teaching. I really enjoy teaching. My second job is not about teaching, you know, but I really enjoy this one. I prefer this job than the other one, you know. Um, I love dogs. I'm a dog lover. I have two dogs at home, a pit bull and a labrador retriever, you know, very big dogs. I really love those dogs. What else can I tell you? I'm really afraid of driving, you know, whenever I need to drive, I get so nervous, you know, that I prefer some other people to take me, you know, uh, to take me home, to take me to my work, I don't know. So, because I'm really afraid of riding or driving, I mean. So, just give me some details about you so I can get to know about my classmates, who they are, you know? So do I have volunteers to start with this short presentation? You can take one minute, you know, from one to two minutes. So your classmates can know a little bit more about you and I can know about you as well. Volunteers, remember, you can raise your hand, like right? your virtual hand like this one. So I already have Hennessy. Thank you so much, Hennessy. You can start with your presentation. Tell me about you. Um, hi, my name is Genesis. I am an architect and I really like English. Um, I like to sing and I like to draw, uh, but I haven't done it in a long time. And um, I'm glad to be here and I, uh, I'm excited and I really like, uh, I really like the, the class so far, so thanks. Excellent. Okay, David, you're the next one. Thank you, Genesis. My name is David. When I say my name in another country, uh, they, how, how do you say David? How do you say David? Spell it. When I spell it all oh, day, <laughs> Okay. Okay. I, 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 I am a, a math teacher. I think I am the younger guy in the in the class. Yeah, <laughs> and I, uh, sure. <laughs> uh, I like to teach too, but I teach math. Okay. And, uh, and uh, we met um, many guys in this, in this course because okay. we were together in the last module. That's all, teacher. Thank you so much, David. What, what do you prefer me to call you, David or David? 
Whatever you, you, you can say. That's David, okay. many people say me David. <laughs> yes. So as this is the English class, I'm going to be calling you David. Okay. Thank you okay. so much for joining from Okay. Okay. As I don't have some other volunteers, Genesis, please help me out to pick one of your classmates. Who's oh next? God, wait. <laughs> how can I how can I check? Oh, um I'm gonna pick one uh at random uh, Kenya. Kenya, Kenya is Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Hi Kenya. Tell me Hello, a little bit more about you. Yeah, um, my name is Kenya. I'm 22 years old. I like reading and traveling. I also am here to improve my pronunciation skills and my reading skills. I'm working in a call center and that's all. Okay, thank you, Kenya. Kenya, who's next? Pick one of your classmates, please. Great information, Kenya. Um, Jocelyn. Jocelyn Rivas. Jocelyn Rivas. Yes? Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Hi, hey. Jocelyn. Hi, good evening to all of you. I am glad, so glad to be here. Uh, what can I tell you about myself? I am okay. 29 years old. I am a student. I am finished my career. I am working in a call center for the moment. I am here to improve my English and I hope to achieve my goal one day. Um, that's all about me. I have a daughter, I have two dogs and one cat. Wow, okay. So interesting information. Thank you so much, Jocelyn. You're Same welcome. for you, Jocelyn. Pick one of your classmates. Uh, Fernando. Fernando. Uh, hi, my name is Fernando. Uh, I am assistant engineer and I work as a iOS developer. Uh, uh, I, I am uh, 30 years old. I have a dog. I like to play soccer and that's it. Okay, interesting information. Thank you so much. Fernando, who's next? Uh, is William here? Alexander, William Alexander. Yes. He's there. <laughs> hey, good evening. Um, my name is William. I graduate as a civil engineer. I'm 30, 30 years old. Mm -hmm. And I don't have any pets. And I really like uh, all the sports. But I practice soccer. Okay. That's it. That's it. Okay. Interesting. William, who's next? Uh, Thelma. Thelma, are you ready, Thelma? Hello, hello, guys. Well, my name is Thelma Peña. Um, I'm 50 da, 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 years old. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, I have a job tenure in Optical Ahoya because I I working for 16 years and uh, wow. yeah, I love, uh, I love design my garden. I have to pet and, and I'm, I'm glad for to be here again. Okay, and we're really, Thanks. you know, we're really glad to have you as well. Thank you so much for your information, Thelma. Who's next? Please give me one of your classmates' name. Um, Francisco. <laughs> okay. Francisco, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Francisco Villacorta. Um, I work uh, in a factory. Textiles La Paz is the name. Okay. I live in Rosario La Paz. It's too close to the airport. Mm, I have a daughter. She's five years old. Okay. Mm, only that, teacher. That's it. Okay. Thank you so much, Francisco. So okay. let me make a pause here and let me ask you. Let me see about your active listening ears. You know, 
Can you mention, class, who is a math teacher in this group? Who's the math Babies. Teacher? There <laughs> we go, Jocelyn. Thank you. She's listening, you know. Who likes reading and traveling? It was a good Kenya. Kenya. Oh, okay, Kenya. Yeah. Kenya. Is that you, Kenya? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes teacher, okay. Who likes to play soccer? It's a boy, of course. He says, I really like to play soccer. Uh, Fernando. William. Yeah, Fernando. Fernando. Yeah, and William, he mentioned it as well, right? Who is a civil engineer? Genesis. William. William. No, no, William, William or Genesis? Genesis, the architect. William. Yes. William. And that is related. Genesis, an architect. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, who loves, you know, having or investing time in the gardening, you know, like to take care of the garden? Thelma. <laughs> Thelma, right? Exactly. Who lives in Rosario La Paz, near to the airport? Francisco. Francisco. Francisco, yeah, he's the one. Um, who, I don't, I don't, I didn't take that note, you know, but uh, she, she mentioned that she has, or that she had some pets at home. Pets. Who yeah, was mentioning about Jocelyn. that? Who was it? Jocelyn and Thelma. Jocelyn. Okay, great. So, Francisco, he was the last one. Francisco, who's going to continue? You know? Tell me one of your classmates' name. The next victim. Okay. Um, <laughs> Janaris. Very good. Go, please. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good evening, everyone. My name is Jessica Janari Cortez Diaz, but I like that you call me Janari. Okay. <clears throat> I, I'm sorry, 34 years old. Uh, I'm a, a public accounting degree, but I have my job. I have a job for uh, for the government for the government. Uh, like uh, audit technician, I live in San Juan Pico, near close to Colón. Ah, okay, mm, yes. I, mm, it's in, it's in the resi residential. Ah, okay. Um. Well. Uh, I'm in because I need to improve my skills and and I need to learn more about this this language. Just that. Okay, interesting information. Okay. Janari, right? You know, this is the first time, you know, that I meet one of I know. Them. But it's it's really nice name, you know. Do you know where does where yeah. the name comes from? Come on. Hmm? I don't know. I, my my mom told me that my father give my give my name that that's name. He listening. I don't know where. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but it's still, it's really nice, you know, Janari. So pick one of your classmates. Who is the next volunteer or big team? Volunteer, volunteer. Okay, volunteer. volunteer. <laughs> Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Erwin. Erwin Lagos. Yeah. Hello, teacher. Hello, guys. Good Hi. evening. I am Erwin Lagos. Um, I try to study English and to learn English. Um, I would like to, to give a, to have a, in the future, a good pronunciation and Try to understand all the world that the English is so different than Spanish, okay. but this is my goal in in, in this cooperative. Yes, it's my general goals. And I am Edwin Lagos. Uh, I I have a business. Yeah, I have a business. I am uh, administrator of the empresas. In the shadow, this is the main. Okay, administrator of the empresas. Um, I have a master too. And uh, I 
I think that I will learn, I will uh, learn more English with, with, with my teacher in that, in that moment. Okay? Thank you, teacher. Oh, you're welcome. You know what I like from you? That you have a specific goal, you know? You are projecting yourself to achieve those goals. So that's really nice. Yeah. I know you're gonna do it, you know? You're gonna achieve those goals at the end of this course. So Erwin, okay. who's next? <laughs> Who's next? Okay, let me see. Oops, uh, let me see. Uh -huh. David? No, David, I don't know if it's David? Yes, David is already. No, no, yes, David. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me see. Oops. What's what missing, guys? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doris? Doris, okay, thank you, Doris. Yes, yes. Doris Elizabeth, tell us about you. Doris, is Doris there? You see, if you have your cameras off, I don't really know if you are there. So let me pick one of you, Andres Giovanni. Go ahead, please. Okay, my, my name is Andres Giovanni Valdivieso. I live in Frontera El Poi, near from Honduras. Okay. I work for Alcalia de Citala. And I'm glad to be here with my last classmate and I'm glad to meet new classmates and a new teacher too. And I'm glad to learn and improve my English skills. That's it. Okay, thank you so much for letting us know. You know, he's you know I'm in San Salvador and you are almost close to Honduras, you know. That's what I really like from online classes. So we can have people from different places around El Salvador. So thank you so much, Andres. Who's next? Can you pick one of your classmates? Who's next? Okay, let me check. Lourdes Montserrat. Okay, Lourdes, go ahead, please. Hi, uh, my name is Lourdes. I work in a lawyer's firm. Uh, I live with my mom. Um, I'm a cat person. I have a cat. Um, you might see her by here. She likes to, to appear in the Zoom meetings. Okay. So sorry. Um, I like to, I study marketing, but I work in a lawyer sphere. Um, but I really love graphic design. I love editorial designing, um, and drawing, reading, listen to music, um, and English. I love reading in English too. Um, that's all. <laughs> and that's all. Do you enjoy listening to uh, English music in English or Spanish? Which one do you prefer more? I prefer English music. Oh, of course, teacher, English, you know, that's mm -hmm. Spanish, you know? It's, mm -hmm. really nice. it's a really nice way to practice. Lower this, who's next? Um, maybe Jarvin, Harvey. <laughs> it's sad. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Harvey Isad Guevara Miranda. You can call me just Harvey. This is the name that I prefer. Okay. Right now, okay. I am working as a common manager. Okay. Uh, this is the reason why I am learning English because okay. I have to improve my skill. And I am 33 years old. I am a father. My, I have a daughter. She is 11 years old. I love all kinds of music. When I want to be relaxed, I always, I, I listen to music. And so this is my favorite hobby right now. And that's it. Great, Harvin, right, Harvin? Yes, Harvin. The same, you know, it's the first time that I hear that, that name, but it's really nice. Who's next? Speak one of your classmates, who's missing? I think it's Miss Freddy's. Yes, please, go ahead, please. Good evening, everyone. Hi. Uh, 
My name is Fred Vladimir Fortes Lopez. I'm from Matahutla. I'm the kind of student that likes to, let's say, make jokes a lot. I like the crazy students from all the meetings. So I hope not to make somebody feel upset or Okay. or angry when it's like sometimes sometimes I feel like the class is kind of bored so yeah. uh when we're like in the in the meeting rooms I try to make it like something different especially when everyone is quiet <laughs> I try to pick up something in order to to like to get to get out of all the bad mood that sometimes we have Oh, okay. Yeah, for me. okay, no, thank you. So, you know, I really enjoyed that, you know, because you have that feeling, you know, to make people laugh, to motivate people, to participate, to practice English, you know, and even more because we're, you know, taking these classes from eight to 10. Sometimes it has been, you know, a little boring day or a little exhausting day. So this is the purpose. So you can learn English in a different way. You can have fun as well in the English classes. That is my goal as well, to have a great time with you guys, you know, not to make those boring classes. So you're gonna be sleepy. No, remember English is fun. So you need to have fun as well in the English class. Thank you, Fredis. I really liked you know, that from you. And who's missing? I guess I'm missing. Jasmine, Jasmine Marisol, right? She's means. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Uh, my name is Jasmine Escobar. You can call me Jasmine, Jazz, Has, whatever comes first. Okay. Um, I also work in, at a law firm. I studied econ economy. Uh, I grew up around, um, my house had tenants that came from almost every place in the world. So my kitchen was usually with like, one tenant was making empanadas, one other, the other one was making uh, pierogi, the other was making Chinese food. Mm -hmm. So my, I had different recipes throughout the house. My hobbies are simple. I like trivia games. Uh, I like trivia games, I like puzzles a lot. Uh, I also grew up in a um, house that because of the multiple people with different languages, the common language was English. So I had to learn a little bit to communicate with one another. Uh, um, music is one of my forms to relax, I guess. And each uh, tenant that we had had different uh, flavors of, of music. So one was using like rap, the other one was like um, the old, all the 60s, 40s, and others were like heavy metal thing, and the, the, the house will boom wow, all the time. Uh -huh. And uh, I apologize that in uh, so one way you may see my grandma uh, popping out. Uh, she's uh, unfortunately, she's had Alzheimer's, so she the moments she's like she's present is like whenever she sees us like working on something and she wants to be on top of it all the time. So Sorry about that. <laughs> no, but that's great, you know. Hey, really nice and interesting information coming from you. So, you know, I learned just you now some new information about my students. Jasmine, who's next? I believe the one missing is uh, Madeline. Madeline, I guess she is. Go ahead, please, Madeline. Hi, uh, good evening, everybody. My Hi. name is Madeline. Hey, nice to meet you. Uh, I well, um, I would like to learn in English uh, better, improve my English, uh, speaking skill, listening skill, and also I would like to learn vocabulary because I think that that is important if I want to improve and. Uh, at the same time, I like uh, uh, singing and play the guitar in my free time. Wow, interesting, interesting. So, playing the guitar, you know, quite interesting. 
who's missing? Let me check. Um, I guess nobody, right? If I'm not wrong, if I'm not mistaken, no, right? Nobody's missing. So do I have two students in this group? Do I have new students? You know, that is the first time with English Corporativo. Me, I've never been in this first before. Okay, so Jasmine is the only one. It's my first Ooh. time. Who else? Who else? Oh, who was it? I didn't either. Ah, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have never been. You've never been there. Okay. So I'm going to be showing you the platform. Do you, did you have the time to go and check the platform? Yes. I or did. Not? I have the issue that I um, started the ID for, the, your, for your profile in it. Mm -hmm. I put the email and I put the password and everything. But when I want to log in, it says yeah. that the password is not right. And I had to try multiple times and I still have no success in it. So I'm trying one more time. And if not, I'm just going to ask for help. Yeah, you please try. And if not, let me know so we can help you. Okay, so before we move on to that activity, I'm going to be checking the attendance list right now. Okay. Vamos a ver, aquí va. Here we go. Today is Monday. Okay. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. David Samuel Galdames Monterroso. Present teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Eh, eh, presente. Dora Alice, Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. I'm here teacher. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here teacher. Génesis del Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Okay. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present teacher. Telma Cleoclinde Peña Martín. Present teacher. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jessica Janari Cortez Diaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Okay. Who was missing? Did I mention all of your names? Or am I missing some of, I guess, right? Because I have 19 students. And I only have 18 in my list. Okay, so I guess nobody. Fredis, how about you? Fredis is already there. Okay. So let's move on, let's move on class. Let's go to the platform. Remember, we have a generic uh, password. Saben cuál es la, la password de la platform? Do you know the, the password? Because everyone from one to five. Numbers right? from, from one to five? Numbers from, from one to five? Numbers from one to five, yeah. In the case that you want to change you know, the password, yeah, you can do it. But I prefer you to have the same password so you cannot forget about it. So let me show you the course. What are we going to be working on? <coughs> this is the one. Give me a second because I have a lot of pages. Okay. Okay, this is the one. Uh, yeah, this is the one. Vamos, Here we go. 
As you may see, we have four different sections. I know that we have five weeks, you know, five weeks of classes, but we're going to have four sections. So it means that we're going to have from five to six classes, you know, so we can cover one section. I guess six classes each, so we can have section one. For example, we're gonna be starting today, section number one, and we are going to finish with section number one on Monday, next Monday, you know? So if you go to the platform, there you're going to have some exercises. We have- open, open the first one, teacher. Sorry. No, that's okay. So you see, we have the first topic. This is the topic that we have, the ones that we're gonna be covering today, verbs followed by germs. This is the first topic. And after this topic that we have here, you're going to find out this one, tarea. I don't know what's happened here. So you see this one, David. Yes, this one between the three and four. Three and four. Yes, okay. you, you see three at the end of the three. Begin the four, and there is no space for the answer of the three. Okay, yes. There are no answers. Mm -hmm. There are no answers. So we have it like, do you there mind? There are two questions. Only, uh, two questions and only three options, right? Okay, so yes. I'm going to be checking on that. So let me see. Vamos a ver. And then we have some videos. Remember, this is like extra information. You're going to be listening to this short explanation, but very useful. You can watch this video as many times as needed. So you can have, you know, an idea about the topic that we just covered in the class or before the class, you can go and check the videos as well. So in this section, we have how many homework? Look, one, two, three, five. So all of these sections, you need to have these sections reviewed and completed before we finish this section. So it means that before Monday, you need to go to the platform, check the videos and also check the homework. It is quite easy, you know, quite easy to go. You just need to read the instructions like this one, read the definitions and select the correct word. And then you're just going to select the correct option. For example, this is about a vocabulary definitions that we're gonna have, I guess, probably tomorrow. We're gonna have this specific topic tomorrow. And after that, you click on here, submit. So you can have like the final, um, in this case, like the final, how do you say that in Spanish? Puntaje in every, of the homework, you know? Score, score. Aquí estamos. Así estamos, section number one. Um, vamos a, any questions? Pregunta, chicos, el manual, you already have it here, Students Manual A2, también lo pueden descargar de acá, or you can also check in on that. Please, I recommend you to have the manual ready because uh, I'm gonna be projecting this one, the picture from here, but whenever we go to the breakup rooms, I need you to have this one, okay? So I can tell you, you know, class, we're gonna be working in this page. So you can go and check the questions that we have there, okay? I prefer you to have it ready, okay? You do not need to print this material. It is okay if you have it there uh, and you can check it on your cell phone or even you can have it there in a computer, you know, like this one. So this is the platform. Questions. Preguntas sobre la platform. The ones who are eh, here as the first time. Los primeros que están acá en, por primera vez en el grupo. Questions about this one. Mm, no, I think it's okay. Is it clear? I guess, right? You're going to get used to it, you know? It's not that difficult. So these are like extra exercises. You can go and practice. Let's take it in that way. You can go and practice. So class, it's time to start with the same topic. By any chance, do you have an idea 
about what is or what is a definition uh, for gerunds. What is a gerund in English? I know we're talking about grammar, but what is a gerund? Let me write it here in the chat. What is this? Gerund. What is this? Oh, wait, let's give me one second. What is this? Take a look at the chat. Jaron, what is that? No idea. Teacher. Okay, I already got an answer from David. Yes. Tell me. Don't be afraid to participate. Yes, tell me. Teacher is when the verb is in action. When the verb is in action. Okay. You have a clear idea about that, no? But before we introduce this topic. It's the verbs that end in ing. So, Terms. okay, it's a noun or is it a verb? Hmm? It's a teacher noun. It's a verb. Uh -huh. It's an action, so it has to be, it's, it ends in ing. Okay, there you have an idea. Very good. But before to move on to that specific topic, first unit, unit number one. Remember that we're going to be covering four different units unit one, two, three, and four. So here are the topics. Vamos a ver. Here we go. Unit number one cultural diversity in the workplace. This is the one that we're gonna be covering during this week. And then we can review the other ones, unit number two, three, and four. So as you may see, we have some questions just at the beginning of this unit, but also we have the objective. What are we gonna be able to do at the end of this class? Who can help me out to read this one? I will be able to Go Describe okay. how, how cultural diversity influence influence the workplace. Oh, imagine describe so you're gonna be able to describe about cultural diversity. We're gonna find out about this topic as well. So before we move on, we can find out about the definition of this uh, new vocabulary. I need you to go say hi to your classmates and discuss about these three questions that we have here. Number one, do you have workmates? Remember that we are talking about the place in which you work. For example, in my case, I work in a company, you know, before I come and teach, I work in a company. So do you have workmates that come from a different city? It can be a city, of course, in El Salvador. Maybe they come, you're from San Salvador, and they come from a different city, you know? They come from, you know, very far places, you know, that is not near the place you live. Number two, do you and your workmates share similar values? In your company, is there any employee who comes from a country different than yours, okay? Go and find out about these three different questions and then we're gonna be sharing the information with the whole class. I'm gonna be giving you from three to four minutes, okay? This is the speaking time. You're gonna be sharing the information in groups of three, you know, so you can listen to your classmates. Is this activity clear? Is it clear what we are going to do? Yes, teacher. Yes, it is. So, you know, I'm going to be sending the same questions to WhatsApp. If you don't have the student's manual, I'm going to be sending this picture. So you can have, you can go and check the, the group and have the questions just right there. Okay. Here we go. To, to see the teacher. Yes. Teacher. The first one is that, that you let us to share the screen. Mm -hmm. 
And the second one is uh, that you need to put the, the two of me in this session, in okay. the same room. Don't worry. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank yeah. you. Bye. I didn't remember about that, David. So here we go. So did you join the WhatsApp group? Or do you need me to send you the link so you can go and join the group? Yes? Yes, I think everybody is. I guess, right? It doesn't have it. I haven't checked. Let me see. Here we go. Okay, go and say hi to your classmates. Here we go. We're going to be working in pairs. David and David. Just give me one second, David. Please, teacher. Yeah, right. Okay, go. Sala seis uno, teacher, y sala siete el otro. Siete, okay. Okay, Telma. Okay, now, I'm gonna now yes, sir. Okay, Telma, let me send you to a different one. Telma is in room number six, but I'm gonna be sending you to room number one, okay? There we go. Go, please. Okay, I'm just missing Doris and Fredis. Okay, I'm just missing Doris. Go with your classmates, please. Ah, okay. <laughs> I, 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 I... Okay, no problem. <laughs> Oh, okay, I, I gonna I I gonna other other check. <laughs> okay, the question is, do you have workmates that come from a different city? Yes, from Lourdes, for example. Yes, I work okay. uh, in Santa Tecla and I have a uh, um, workmate from Lourdes, Santa Ana, or Opico, I think. And you, Salma? Okay, in my, in my case, I have um. I have five partners and she lived in different cities, in Lourdes, in Zaragoza, my, uh, my, my boss uh, is uh, general accounting, living in Zaragoza, um, the other auxiliary, is uh, living in San, Bart San Bartolome, Peru, La Pia. I live in, in San Salvador, downtown. And the other, other partner living in the Soyapango. Oh my God. Okay. And you, in my, Jarvis? In my case, for example, I work in a taxi factory. So many people come from other city from Sonsonate, from... Men, but... It's a man, but... Uh, but a woman is dying, so... I don't think we share similar values. Okay. And in your company, is there any employee who comes from a country different than yours? No. No. Okay. I, I have... Uh, uh, not a co-worker, but a person from, from 
wrong for the past, but that was like 12 years ago. He was from USA. And he was working like two years in the office. Uh, he's, he actually was born in the US. Yes, he's an American person. And Hi. Uh, okay. And the third question says, in your company, is there any employee who comes from a country different than yours? Sorry, can you repeat? I didn't hear you. Okay. Um, the third question says, in your company, is there any employee who comes from a country different than yours? In my company, no. Okay. Oh, my supervisor, uh, he used to live in USA, but he got uh, deported. <laughs> I don't know how to say deportado, teacher. No way. Okay. Yep. And now he is living here, but he doesn't like <laughs> because he was uh, more like an an American. Okay. Thank you. Uh... In my company, there are just two that comes from Guatemala, and it's not that far. But <laughs> you know, you don't notice the difference. And there are people that have lived in the U.S. and travel a lot. Uh, only that, I I think the the cultural differences are not that big. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's complicated because, uh, for example, in my, my workplace, I have uh, workmates from different places, and maybe they they don't they didn't have the my the, my experience, and they are different than me. And when we are thinking about something, maybe we can think similar, but in other topics, maybe. Uh, they, for example, we have to discuss about different because uh, they think in different than me. Yeah. Yeah. I think that I, my coworkers do, we do have the same values because, uh, but I have seen, I work in construction. Um, I'm not, uh, I, I am, my work is in the office. So, because I, I design and, and, I, I don't have to go to the construction that often, but I do see that that the, the values per se are very different. Uh, the, the ones that we have and the ones that uh, people in the construction share because it's a very sometimes hostile environment uh, and, and people oh. is always looking to, to have uh, uh, Sometimes they are looking someone to blame if something happens. So it's it's very uh, hard because you have to be very careful with what you do. So other people won't blame you for their mistakes. And that uh, actually uh, hinders the, the, or that I think it breaks a little bit the, the environment and it makes it very, toxic sometimes because everybody yeah. is looking to to you know uh, look after themselves and they don't think about the other people and that's kind of hard to work with because you always have to be very careful that other people won't blame you for their mistakes and i think that that's the point darling don't you worry hola hello hi uh jessica and that's our teacher baby did you finish? Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he works with me. We work in the same office. Really? Wow, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Yes, we are co-workers. 
Really? Miracle workers, along, yeah, and, along and with we Montserrat. We are in situation together forever until we finish. <laughs> yes, really? <laughs> until we finish, yes. <laughs> so you are the BFF, you know? So you work. Yeah, you we know, will then. be after this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. But that's really nice, you know, because you can continue practicing your English, you know, at work as well. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Jessica yeah, said well, that, um, that she has could... having issues because of the rain. So oh, she apologizes if she okay. can't, because apparently she, that interrupts with the connection she has. Uh, don't you worry. Let's go back to the main room, you know, so we can listen to your classmates. Here we go. So we just put uh, out of the. And how, how do we Salim? do that? Okay, time to come back. Here we go. Okay, okay. Let's wait for your classmates. You know, it was quite interesting, you know. I know you have a lot of, you know, information to share with your classmates. So that's what I really like from these groups, you know, from the advanced classes, because you can practice a lot. So what were we talking about? What was like the main topic or what was like those three questions had in common? What could you identify? What did they have in common? Those three questions. Yes. The, the cultural diversity. Cultural diversity, exactly. So what can you conclude? Do we have cultural diversity in the workplace or the places that we you know, spend the whole day in? Well, I know that Jasmine knows a lot of different people from different countries. And yeah. so basically she knows, she, she has, I don't know how to say this. She has proof of different, different fruits. Okay, yeah. So basically she, I believe that she's the one that has most experience here. Most <laughs> different, experience the different topic, people. Yeah. Yes, uh, through the passage of like over 10, 20 years, I really? had multiple tenants living in my house and they come from all over the place. I've had Japanese people, Chinese people really? uh, from, uh, from Argentina, Chile, a couple from Spain. The one was from, one was Armenian, the other one was from Poland and one was from Sweden and so on and so forth. And they sometimes come by and they bring their friends and they stay along as well. And then uh -huh. they go and come back. So learning very early on that every place has different foods, different traditions, yeah, different right. values. And even if we all speak Spanish, there's still this barrier of communication between us. Because for me, chucho means dog. In Chile, it means it's cold. And in Argentina, it's a person. Really, I saw you yes. see. <laughs> it's yes. like the same word, but with different meanings. You know, it depends on the culture as well. Yes. So, yes. so frutilla is, is strawberries in Argentina, uh -huh. and they call chetas when someone like ah, es una niña fresa. Es oh, really? <laughs> yes. Pero chetas in Surinam is what you call someone who um, uh, works in a not so reputable place at night. Oh, okay. So it's not something that you see in public. So you learn to try or <laughs> at least make the effort to speak the most neutral way possible. Because knowingly- For, for Salvadorians, you know that? so hard you know yes yeah, so unknowingly you will eventually because yeah. it will happen offend somebody or they will <laughs> offend you because they don't know it so you need to be apologizing you know before you you start yes. like so speaking, the first you know? thing we do with new tenants that come uh -huh. from south america yeah we give them a list of what is oh, socially really? acceptable to say and what they mean so you can you know 
just prevent. in case, you know. <laughs> yeah. Wow, so you think some that's quite interesting, you know. She has had this experience, you know, to interact with different um, cultures, you know, people from different places. So anyone else, because we're not going to dig in, you know, in this topic just today. This is just an introduction about what we're going to be covering in unit number one. But it is quite important for you to know or to start thinking about, you know, the definition or some examples like the ones who Jasmine was mentioning before. So we can have, you know, this type of discussions in every class. So interesting. That's why I'm not gonna, you know, start like asking you about this specific topic today. What was the first question that I had in this class? The first question, what did I ask you about? at the beginning, before this activity. Do you remember? What is that? I believe that it was something related with values. Uh, about grammar, no. grammar topic. Oh, what the guarantee is. Excellent, okay. So in the case that you want to have like a, a definition, here we got it, you know, what is a gerund? is a form of a verb, yet you were right. It's a form of a verb that ends in ing. But look, that is used as a noun. This is the key part. It's very important to have. Who wants to continue reading? You know, who wants to practice? Me. Go please. Uh, me. Is it, yes, okay. yes, Henry. As you may know. Okay, as you may know, a verb is a word that refers to actions or states of being, and the noun is a word that we use to refer to people, places, things, and ideas. A gerund is like a blend of verbs and nouns. Okay, so I was asking you, what is a gerund? And you were saying, yeah, it's a bird teacher, but as you may see, is like a blend of verbs and nouns. So let me repeat again the information. A gerund, it's a form of a verb that ends in ing. Yeah, this is clear, okay? But that is used as a noun. As you may know, a verb, it's a word that refers to actions or a state of being. But the noun, it's a word that we use to refer to people, places things and ideas. A gerund is like a blend of verbs and nouns, okay? So let me have some examples. Of course, we have a big list of verbs that in this case, we can use uh, with a gerund. But if you see the examples, in the first column, I have the verb, and then right after that, I have the example. The first one, admit, admit, is take a look at the first example. What do we have first in the example? Subject, and then we have the verb. What do we have after the verb class? What is just right after the verb? The gerund. We go, she it. Sharing on the test. So if we want to like to create a rule or a formula that we can follow, what do we have there? Subject, and then we have verb, and after that we have a gerund. He admitted sharing on the test. We cannot say we cannot say he admitted to cheat on the test. Why not? Because in this case, we have like a specific list of verbs in which we are going to have a gerund just after that verb, okay? So let me have you, let me have you reading this example. Let me see, Jasmine, continue please with number two. So acknowledge, she acknowledged receiving assistance. There we go. Diego, continue, please. 
advise. The doctor generally advises doing exercises. Okay. Andres, allow. Ireland doesn't allow smoking in bars. Wow, interesting. Does this happen in El Salvador as well? <laughs> <laughs> no. Which? Is it not right? No, but take a look at this country. Doesn't allow smoking, smoking in bars. David, go ahead, please. Continue with anticipate. Anticipate. I didn't anticipate having to do the cooking myself. Oh, imagine. I didn't anticipate having to do the cooking myself in Father's Day, you know, for Father's Day. Yeah. That's quite interesting. I, I, I think, teacher, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I think uh, the mm -hmm. ING or the, Sometimes the okay. germ is using like I don't know, but uh, another time is using like a bird, like, like, like in this case. In which because one? What number? An anticipated having having mm -hmm. having is Heaven. is a bird. In this case, it's a bird, mm -hmm. and the norm is cooking. I didn't anticipate having to do the cooking myself. I anticipate having is the rice rice and bird, mm -hmm. and cooking is is the gerund using like a noun. And in this case, is a, a dieted object exactly. because is the answer mm -hmm. is the answer of the bird. Yeah, but as you see, we need to concentrate in this one, like that we yes, have this is, that verb, and then the, yes, because this is like like a complement. Okay to do the cooking myself. I know, but it's quite interesting. We need to know how do we call each and a specific word in a sentence. So, very nice comment, David. I really like that, Thank okay? You. Thelma, can you continue? Appreciate. Okay, appreciate. I appreciate here helping me. Okay. What do you see in this case? We have here, appreciate, but just right after, appreciate, oh, well, this word is in past. What do we have after that? A pronoun. Mm -hmm. Look. So we do not have just right after the verb, in this case, the geron. So, but you can find later on the gerund in this sentence. Okay, it is not like mandatory to have them together. No, right? It is not mandatory because in some cases you're going to find them just next to each other, like this one. Look, next to each other. Some other cases, you're going to have like a different piece of grammar in between the two expressions, okay? Last one, avoid, avoid. Fernando, please, avoid. Uh, she always avoid going to the dentist. She always avoid going to the dentist. Dentist. Mm -hmm. So you see, how about you? What is your experience about this one, the last one? <laughs> Do you always avoid going to the dentist? No, I know that is necessary for our health. So <laughs> in my case, yeah, we need to. I need to do it, you know, monthly in a monthly basis. I need to go to the dentist, even though I don't like it, but I need to. So, look at this bird. Can you give me some other ideas? That say something. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, please. Don't worry. I'm sorry. Uh, no, but I, I think that it, avoid is missing an S, right? Shouldn't it be? She always avoids. Go ah, because it's the a third person. It's a third person, right? Uh huh. Yes. In this case, that's okay. Gee. Yeah. In this case, avoids. Yes, because we. Uh, are using these examples in the simple present tense. That's okay. So what do you see? What is the tense that we are using in this type of example? The ones that I have here. 
is are these examples in the simple past, the present continuous, or what is the structure that we are using in this case? Mm -hmm. What can you tell me? Because in this case, this is the simple present tense. How about the rest? Mm -hmm. Class, are you still there? Don't be afraid. If you are not sure about the information that you're going to express, don't be afraid, okay? Just try to give me your ideas so I can listen to them. It's in the past, but I really don't know. Huh? So, I, yeah. Okay, let me take the past. I cannot then. see you. Yes, simple present tense, simple past. What do you think? What is your opinion? It's in the past tense, but I honestly don't know the name uh, okay. for the past tense. So, yeah. So, how about if we go and check the platform? Okay, let's go and check okay. the platform that we can have a short explanation. Mm -hmm. See, that's why we need to. Be checking on those topics as well. Uh, the idea for this course, you know, is not to be grammar experts. No, I prefer you to be ready to, you know, to keep your ideas using these structures, but in a natural way, okay? Not to be like thinking about, uh, is this a gerund? Is this a verb? What did the teacher say in the class? So, no, don't you worry. So, verbs followed by germs. External resources. Okay, I don't know why I cannot check on this one. It's not loading, you know? Don't worry. So, let's go back to this one. Look, so I have some exercises here. If you see, I have 10 different examples. I want you to take a look at examples right now. Please do not give me the answers yet. Go read the 10 different examples. If you see, I have some affirmative statements here. And at the end of each statement, I have the verb in parentheses. So I'm gonna give you two minutes so you can read and complete these exercises on your note, okay? So you can have some examples and you're gonna be checking on these examples whenever you need to review about this topic. Two minutes, go open your notebook and complete these exercises right there. Teacher, yeah. teacher, a question. Can you copy this to the to the chat of the Zoom? Sure, sure. I'm gonna be doing this right now. Just give me one second. No, not a picture, but the, the text. Ah, the text. Oh, yes, I can. I can do it. Okay, let me see. Yeah, because it would take me a lot, a long time a writing bit. those down. <laughs> okay, let's do yes. something. Let's do something. Forget about your notebook right now. Forget about your okay. notebook. I know it's going to take a lot. And we don't have that much time. Just look at the picture, look at the exercises, read, and try to give an answer to each of them, you know? So after that, I'm going to be checking on the answers. Two minutes so you can read and try to complete the exercises using the words or the verbs in parentheses. Remember, verbs and gerunds. That's what we are talking about in this class. Two minutes, read please.
time is almost over. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So I'm going to be needing 10 volunteers. So we can complete these exercises correctly. Okay. William is the first one that I have here. So William Alexander, can you try with number one, please? Go ahead. Um, Dan enjoys reading science fiction. Let me go so I can complete this one. Okay, can you repeat that again, please? Uh, Dan enjoys reading. Dan enjoys reading science. Science fiction. How about you, class? Do you enjoy reading science fiction? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, right? Why not? Yes. Yes. So listen, enjoy reading. Enjoy reading. So what can you say about you? Change this sentence, but with your own information. Go, please. Who can do it? I enjoy reading science fiction. There we go. I enjoy reading science fiction. Very good job. Erwin, number two is for you. Go, please. And then you give me your own information. Okay, Shirley suggests seeing a movie after work. Seeing. Okay. What do you think, class? Seeing. Do you watching. agree? Yes. yes. I think it's watching. But the, the yes, but the very important is to see. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. it will be watching, but. You know, I know oh, that, yeah. yeah, but sometimes we can use see as well. You know, I have read these uh, examples as well with the verb see. I know that whenever oh. we watch something, in this yes. case, a movie for a long period of time, of course, we're going to be using the verb watch, right? So okay. that's okay. So give me your own information, please, using this verb. CN. Go, please. Speaking time. Anyone who wants to participate can create that sentence. Oh. You can give me similar ideas. I suggested seeing yeah. a soccer match after work. I don't know. Give me your ideas, please. Go. Okay. Of the same sentence or a different one? Number two. Um, um, I suggested seeing a play after work. Very good. Anyone else? This is a speaking time. Think about the ideas and then you can share them with the class. Go. I enjoy visiting my grandparents. There we go. But we're using seeing, seeing in this case. Okay, I guess it's not clear, no? Vamos a ir una por una. In this case, this is the bird. Seeing. Give me your ideas. So you can have like similar examples as the one that I'm bringing to you in this exercise. Let me see how it goes. Number three. Let me have, who else? Lourdes. Go please. Uh, the number three will still be, I miss working in the travel industry. Maybe I can get my old job back. Okay, means working. Similar ideas. I miss working in the travel industry. Maybe I can get my old job back. I miss, mm -hmm. what do you miss? <laughs> Maybe. You miss working? Uh -huh. Yes, I miss working in the fashion industry. Wow. I have to say the, the other part. <laughs> no, you don't want you can. Giovanni, okay. how about you? What do you miss working on? 
uh, needs uh, working on a cruise ship. Yes, because I I can visit many places in the world. Okay, quite mm -hmm. interesting. Thank you. Francisco, number four. Okay. Hey, what do you learn um, to speak in Spanish? Continue. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, what is what is this in Spanish or in Latin America? Once again, please repeat that again. What is in Spanish or in Latin America or all the uh -huh. Spanish or learn? Spain? Spain. Spain. Uh -huh. Spain. So, where do you learn speaking? Where did you learn speaking Spanish? Was mm -hmm. it in Spain or in Latin oh, America? Latin. So let me ask you about English. Where did you learn speaking English or any other language? Give me your ideas. Make the question, please. Where did you learn cooking? Where did you learn? Playing soccer. Where driving. Did you learn? Oh, okay. So make the make the Where question. Where did you learn driving? Where did you learn driving? Okay. Mm -hmm. Very nice example. Any other example? Using learn. Where did you learn uh, playing the guitar? Where did you learn playing the guitar? Excellent, Madeline. Any other example that comes to your mind? Using learn. Um, where did you learn swim? Where did you learn swimming? Where did you learn swimming? Here we go. Was it in the ocean or in a pool? Was it by yourself or by taking classes? You know, we can have so many examples using just a simple idea. Who's next? Let me have number four, Jocelyn Rivas. Go ahead, please. Number five. This is a question. Do you mind me helping translate this letter? Okay, do you mind? Helping me. Do you mind helping me translate this letter? Uh -huh. So it is, do you mind me or do you mind helping me? First or second option. Do you mind helping? Do you mind helping me? There we go. So do you mind helping me complete this exercise? Yes, teacher. Do you mind? What else? Give me your ideas. Do you mind? Do you mind helping me uh -huh. do the math exercise? Okay. What do you think, class? Do you say yes or no? Math exercises. Yes or no? Sure, why yeah. not? No. It depends what kind of math it is. <laughs> okay, it depends on what kind of math it is, right? Now. But we yes. can try, you know, we can try. Yes. Arithmetic, you know. El álgebra de Valdor, you know. I really <laughs> like that one, you know. I still remember about those exercises. So, do you mind? And then we have a jet on. Do you mind? Number six, number six. Volunteer for number six. Me, teacher? No, please. He asked talking to the, he asked talking to the store manager. Yeah, I guess this is very common to the it supervisor. <laughs> but to in the... this case, wouldn't it be like he has to talk? To the manager yeah. rather than I talking? also thought that. <laughs> yeah, he has to talk, isn't it? He has to talk to the manager. You know, but in this case, as we are using a uh, gerund, because in some examples, in this case, we can have a gerund or an infinitive. But in this yes. case, we are just practice, practicing using gerunds. But yes, for sure, you can have an infinitive after this one as well as well okay 
But let's, let's practice doing this one, talking. Okay. He asked, talking to, to the teacher. He asked, talking to, what the else? Principal. To the principal, wow, the principal, yes, what else? He asked, talking to the boss. Imagine, he asked, talking to my boss or to the boss. What else? He asked the, to uh, talk to talking to the owner. To the owner, wow. For the ones who are working in a call center industry, what comes to your mind when clients are asking, you know, to talk to? Supervisor. To the supervisor. He asked to talk or talking to the supervisor. Yes. Quite interesting example. Seven. Go ahead. Who wants to try with number seven? Me. Go, please. You've never mentioned living in Japan before. How long did you live there? Okay. You never mentioned. What's the birth? Live, uh, living, living in Japan before. Mm -hmm. Do you have similar example? What can you say about this one? Um, you've never mentioned singing the opera before <laughs> okay or um how long did you sing before okay you never mentioned having a family you know <laughs> whenever you are meeting someone <laughs> you know <laughs> you never mentioned being married you know? no, right it doesn't happen in the past right so mentioned and then we have a gerund mentioned. In this case, it's a nice example. You never mentioned living in Japan before. How long did you live there? Okay. Number eight. Let me have a guy who wants to try. A boy. Let me help you. Go. Alright. Um, if he keeps coming to work late, he's going to get fired. Imagine. Mm -hmm. That has this happened to you before, Diego? No, no, never. All right. Always on time. <laughs> Always on time. So if he yeah. keeps coming mm -hmm. to work late, he's gonna or he's going to get fired. Give me a similar yes. example, please. Okay. Um, if he keeps coming to work, no, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me see. He keeps coming to work earlier. He's going to get a promotion. Oh, really? We wish to, <laughs> to be motivated yeah. in that way, right? If you keep... <laughs> it will be nice. Okay. If you keep coming late or coming home late, give me any idea. ¿Qué pasará? If you keep coming home late... You're going to get grounded. <laughs> okay. There we go. You will need to cook your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to sleep, you know? Where? <laughs> Outside. Without dinner. <laughs> okay, quite interesting, you know? Number nine. Let's have number nine. Mm -hmm. Volunteers are victims. What do you prefer? A teacher. Okay, go please. Debbie Clowns is starting abroad next year. Debbie Plans starting abroad next year. Give me a similar example, please. What are your plans? I plan. She got me plans starting for next year. Um, Never mind. Sorry. No, don't worry. You you can try. You know, you can try it again. Similar examples. Okay. If you want, we can talk about somebody else. So we can have like a very similar idea. David plans to start in abroad next year. Tell me about your parents, or probably your husband or wife. Give me similar examples. Go please. My I sister. plan to study in Portuguese next year. 
Okay. Nice example. Go, please. My sister plans on moving abroad next year. Wow. Any other example? I plan taking my parents to Japan next year. Wow. <laughs> I want to be your partner. I will take us. Take us. I want to go with you. <laughs> take us with you, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> so you see, plan, plan, and then we can have a journey. And the last one, number ten, please go ahead, so I can check the the attendance list again. Yes. Just one, please. Just one volunteer. <laughs> I ag I agreed helping Jack wash his car. Okay. Agreed. Go ahead, please, with your ideas. Anyone in the class? Nope. It's not help, it's help. helping. Helping. Yes. Helping. Here we go. Go, please. Um, I agreed. Helping, I, I don't know. I agreed going to the movies with my boyfriend. Okay. Great example. Tell me, how about you? Give me your example. I agreed helping David clean the house. In the house. Oh, listen, David. She's gonna help you. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's a, Thank it's you. a fiber, a little fiber. <laughs> so, it's not yeah. very often, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite interesting example. So, of course, we have so many other examples that we can continue practicing with this topic, you know. But as you may see, as I mentioned before, what is the idea? You have a verb followed by a gerund. Enjoy, the chest. What is the verb in this one? Number three. Miss. Number four. Miss. Number four. Learn. Learn. Number Learn. five. Mind. Mind. Number six. Ask. 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 Okay, this is in past. Seven. Mention. Mention. Eight. 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 Right? Number nine. Plans. Plans. And the last one. Agreed. 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 So as you may see, yeah, in this case, we have just the formula. A verb, and after that, we have a general. Questions about this activity? Questions about the topic? Yes? Can I ask you something? Does Go that? Go ahead. When reading, for example, um, wait, which one was it? Uh, Number six? For example, where did you learn? No. Uh -huh. no, number six, where he asked to talk would sound better, better. Mm -hmm. but is it correct that, I mean, does one sound better than the other sometimes? Yes. Or which one do sure. we use? Prefer? As I, yeah, as I mentioned before, yeah, okay. in this case, number six, mm -hmm. yes, we can have this rule to have this verb followed by a gerund or also uh, with an infinitive in this case, to talk, okay? If you want to use the other one to talk, that's okay. There's no uh, like something that's forcing us to use in this case a gerund, that's okay. 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 So let me check the attendance list because we are about to finish. Second time, please say here or person. Here we go. Andres Giovanni. Present. David Samuel. Present teacher. Diego Alejandro. I'm here. 
Dora Elizabeth. Present. Erwin Lagos. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto. Present. Francisco Amadeo. Present teacher. Freddy Vladimir. Sí, I'm here. Genesis del Carmen. Present. Okay. Charvin Isaac. Harvin Isaac. Yes, no. Jasmine Marisol. Present. Kenia Esmeralda. Present. Ok. Lourdes Montserrat. Present. Madeline Yamile. Selma Cleotilde. Present. Ok. William Alexander. Present. Jessica Janari. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda. Present. Okay, so in the case of Andres Giovanni, can you please stay just for 10 minutes so we can okay, have teacher. our one on one session? Questions, okay. comments about this class? For the Clear. review? Water. Really? Okay. Um, Hi, teacher. I'm sorry. I had a problem with my internet. Okay, don't worry. Thank you, Madeline. Can I, can I ask you about the 10 minutes that I lost in the beginning? So can I stay 10 minutes longer? Yes, sure. You can stay here with your camera and microphone off. Don't worry. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So if you don't have questions or comments, the uh, rest of you... About the platform, I still have issues getting in. So you, I'm not sure have... how to do the activity. Yeah, I couldn't get in. Is it because of the password? I put the option like retrieve password and change it. And I've done it multiple times. And whenever I change it, I receive the email that I did it right, that I was successful. But when I try to get in, it's like, uh -huh. nope, it's not right. Try again. Okay, it's Cobar Flores. So I'm gonna yes. ask, uh, people from tech support to contact you to reach you so they can help you thank okay? you uh, so any other comment or question if not we're going to stop the class here and we're gonna uh, continue with this topic tomorrow okay thank you so much for joining okay. the class. thank you have a great night okay? bye bye thank thank you. You. Good, night. good night good night, good night. Tomorrow. Good tomorrow tomorrow bye 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 bye. Bye bye. Contraseña. Okay. Hi, Andres. How is it going? Uh, very good, teacher. Very good. You know, you live yeah. so far from San Salvador, right? Yes, like yes, uh, right. 94 kilometers. Yes, imagine. But mm -hmm. you work there. Yes, I, I work uh, like two blocks from my house. Oh, it's so it's quite near, you know. So yes. let me ask you comments or questions. What would you like uh, to reinforce or what are your goals for this course probably? Or what are some of the topics that... Uh, okay. Uh -huh. No, go ahead, go ahead, for, don't worry. Uh, for example, when I have to... The topic that you was explained before mm -hmm. about Jeron, but when I have to use Jeron and when I'm not. And when an infinity. Okay, muy yes. bien. Vamos a explicar eso mañana tal vez. You know, there's like a specific list of verbs. Ya existe esta lista. Hay como una specific list. The verb oh, okay. se usan siempre. Okay, the verb and after that, a uh, gerund or an infinity. But that's okay. Muy buen punto, Andrea. Vamos a mencionarlo oh, okay. mañana. Don't worry. One, okay. one. Any Anything else? Uh, just in my case, I, what I have to prove is uh, my listen, listening because okay. I have some problems with some accents. Mm -hmm. Oh. And that's what I need to improve. Maybe so, you can give me some tips to do it. 
they're listening. Uh, do you have the, the chance to practice your English? Maybe at work, at home, with some friends or not? No, I don't have uh, friends that are studying English, only, mm -hmm. only me, but I don't know if, if you know if there are if there is a web page or when I where I can practice. Yes, of course. The, you know there are a lot, and there are some places in which you practice that skill. You know, listening skill. Hay una, uh, quiero ver. Creo que se llama Randall's Coffee. Voy a revisar bien. Randall's Coffee, algo así in which you have a lot of listening exercises. Veamos, here's Randall's coffee. But you know, I prefer you uh, to go and look for real English. No, no se llama, sí, creo que sea no existe. Pero la voy a buscar, don't worry. Okay, teacher, no problem. Este, I'm, as I mentioned before, prefiero que nos pongamos, eh, con inglés real. Mm -hmm. Hay páginas incluso que son radios de Estados Unidos en donde podemos escuchar las noticias. Es lenguaje mm -hmm. o vocabulario real. Real English, you know? Most yes. of the time it is very hard to understand. As you mentioned before, different accents. Eh, ese es un problema bien común. Tratar de exponernos a un inglés que no sea tan latino, porque en nuestro caso creo que in the English class is easier to get it because we speak a little bit slow or we try to repeat the idea if students don't get, don't get it at, at first, you know, pero en el caso del inglés real sí es totalmente diferente. Tal vez eh, vamos a buscar lo mismo, lugares en donde podamos escuchar noticias. Ese fue uno de mis ejercicios cuando yo estaba aprendiendo inglés, when I was learning, you know, English, me ayudó bastante escuchar noticias en inglés. Funciona mucho okay. porque ocupan incluso términos que son bien, eh, nada comunes, nada comunes a lo que estamos acostumbrados a usar. Y esa es la idea, que nuestro cerebro, si no es que no entiende al 100%, se acostumbre a identificar esas palabras, you know? Listening, okay. you know, because by listening, any type of language that we want to learn, we need to listen first. We don't need to listen to any other type of, well, or to practice to any other type of skill. Writing, grammar, reading, they come after, you know. Así que el listening siempre es la base para cualquier idioma, even for Spanish. Así aprendimos el español y así está. So, listening, muy bien. Eh, igual en la clase, eh, tal vez como no tenemos tanto tiempo de participar, por ser, bueno, somos un grupo pequeño, 18 estudiantes, 18 estudiantes para dos horas, bueno, tal vez unas dos, tres veces en la clase, si se puede. Try to participate a lot. Don't be afraid, okay? Volunteers, okay. me teacher, me teacher, me teacher. Y cuando estemos en grupos, en los breakout rooms, lo mismo. Tratar de aprovechar esos dos, tres minutos porque son grupos reducidos. And there, we can have the chance to practice a lot, okay? okay. Eh, what else? ¿Qué más? En el caso de cada clase que tengamos, digamos, ahora aprendimos verbs, journals. Ese tema que no se quede en el olvido, ¿ok? En mi cuaderno yo anoto todo lo que tenga y tratar de tener esa información cerca, ¿ok? To have that information and to put that information into practice. You know? Algo que sirve bastante es hablarse a uno mismo. Recordaros que ¿qué vi? Quiero ver mi cuaderno. Y tener, en este caso, digamos, aprendimos verbs and gerunds. Tengo la lista de verbos y trato de hacer oraciones, como lo que hicimos ahorita. Tengo mm -hmm. el verbo y trato de decir mis propias ideas. That's going to help you a lot, you know? Algo okay. más, eh, Andrés. No, for me, only that. Just that. Okay. 
So let's yes, see. Sir. Veamos si podemos hacerlo hoy. For example, if I ask you, make a question or make a similar sentence with number five. What comes to your mm. mind? Number five. Do you mind uh -huh. uh, helping, helping me to read this letter? Uh -huh. mm. Vaya, en este caso, helping me, nuestro cerebro, inmediatamente, ¿qué nos dice? Que helping y luego va me. Pero si tenemos aquí el espacio, helping, do you mind? Muy bien. Sí. Tenemos que identificar siempre helping y luego me. Como tratar de recordar, oh, esas dos palabras siempre van linked, linkeadas, ¿ok? So, do you mind helping me translate this letter? Make an example, please. Un ejemplo. Do you mind helping me uh, turn off the computer? There we go. Very good job. Number three. Make a similar sentence with number three. To work. Working. Um, I miss working in my previous job because I had a I had a lot of friends there. Really? Wow. Mm -hmm. So you miss your friends. How yeah. about number eight? Number eight. If he keeps coming late to no, sorry. If he, if he keeps coming to work, to coming to home late, he will get a, ¿cómo sería un castigo? A scolding. Pero digámosle, he will be or she will be scold. Ahorita se lo he letrado, scold. Eso es como un castigo. Uh -huh. No podemos ya, porque es como prohibir algo, no en sí como castigo físico, ¿verdad? Okay. Uh -huh. will be how, how about number uh -huh. one? Dan enjoys watching, no, sorry, reading. Dan enjoys reading history books. Uh -huh. How about your example? I, uh, me too. I enjoy reading history books. Really? Wow, interesting. Mm -hmm. Scolding. Ahorita escribo scolding. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué número era? La number eight. Number eight. Scolding. Scold es el verbo. Como regaño, castigo. Pero es más que todo un regaño verbal. Okay. okay. Scolding. 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 So, very good, you know, vamos a tomar esas sugerencias, cualquier cosa, eh, Andrés, no hay problema, podemos expresarlo en la clase, en el chat, o incluso, eh, ustedes pueden identificar mi número de teléfono también, la que envió ahora la imagen, the picture with the exercise, ese es mi número, escríbanme, no hay problema, cualquier pregunta, ejercicios extra que también necesite, Andrés, ahí voy a estar para ayudarle, ok? Sí, yes. thanks okay, teacher. Chao. Thank you so Have much for night. staying here. Have a great night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. -bye.